Mycobacterium marinum. It is the most common atypical mycobacterium that can cause infection in humans. It is found in salt and fresh water. It is an acid fast bacilli. The wrist and the hand are affected in about 50% of cases. It may cause skin and soft tissue infections after skin abrasion. The patients are exposed to aquatic environments such as aquariums and swimming pools. The disease often occurs following cleaning of fish tanks. The bacilli enters the body through scratches and abrasions, causing deletions in the tissue. The diagnosis is usually delayed because the condition is rare and the history of aquatic exposure is usually not obtained. The clinical findings, the hand and wrist are commonly involved. There will be painful swelling of the hand, subcutaneous granules, masses, nodules, ulcers, non-caseating granulomas. It may present as chronic tenosynovitis of the hand. It affects the extensors more than the flexors. It can cause a TB-like disease in fish. The chronic skin lesion is sometimes called a swimming pool granuloma or fish tank granuloma in humans. How does the bacteria grow? The bacteria grows in low temperature culture at 30 degree centigrade. It grows on Lowenstein Jensen medium. It requires lower temperature and longer period of the intubation up to six weeks or more. Treatment Oral Antibiotics Antimicrobial Therapy, Ethambutol and Rifampin if diagnosed early. Minocycline and Clarithromycin has been described. Surgery is done in late stages and in deep infection. Surgery entails synovectomy and debridement in addition to oral antibiotics for approximately three months. Another entity of atypical mycobacterium, it's called Mycobacterium avium, intracellular. It occurs in terminal AIDS patient or it also can occur in a non-HIV patient. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.